We are gonna go through these three calculators we designed to help you figure out what to charge your clients, whether you're in video production, FPV, including center lifters, or just flying a regular drone like a Mavic. All of these things have their own rates and their own way of calculating it. They are very similar, but there are different risks involved. Now, there are other ways to do this, and we would love to hear your feedback, but we feel like this will help you get started, especially if you are new. If you're a seasoned pro, these calculators will still be useful just to make a quick quote, and you may find a few things that you should have been charging for that you haven't. We've included a link below to these calculators. Just go to cliffandcajun.com slash calculators, and then you can follow along. Either do it on your phone and then have this on a computer or split your screen or do whatever you need to do. But we're gonna get started with number one, which is video production. In freelance video production, along with everything else we have here, you need to remember to rent your equipment to your clients as if you had to go to a rental house and get it yourself. We start that out with calculations based on risk and the cost of each item. And that helps us figure out what to charge the clients for our investments because we're always upgrading gear. I mean, come on, who's not just always buying more gear that they probably don't need? So we need to make sure we are passing that along to the client. Otherwise, you will never make money and you'll just have a bunch of cameras and no house or car. So let's go through video production first. The first thing you're gonna see on here is your camera's value. So this is set with kind of a random default, like maybe an A7 III at $1,500. Let's say we wanna to go to the FX3, 3,500 roughly, and we're gonna bring along two lenses, three lenses, thousand bucks a piece, $3,000, that works. Lighting, uh, we're gonna keep it simple today. We're gonna bring a couple NAN lights with us, so 500 bucks. Accessories of value. So what we're gonna do here is like your gimbals, tripods, monitors, and things like that. You can leave this blank if it's getting too expensive, but these are calculated at lower rates and will not affect the outcome as much. So it's a little bit of trial and error. So let's start out with our accessories of value. Let's say tripod, gimbal, monitors, uh, we'll give $1,500. Get a cheap tripod. Don't judge me. Don't forget audio, microphones. Let's take that up to $2,500. So this is for one day. Now, if you're gonna do a half day, charge the same amount because there really is no such thing as a half day for your gear. It has to go out, it gets used, it gets packed away, taken out, filming, all that stuff. And you can't go to a rental house and get something for a half day, at least not here in Ohio. So our equipment daily rate is $600. The next thing we need to calculate is our labor cost. Let's start with ourselves. So this is our business and we're freelance. So our hourly rate, not counting our gear, what would we charge hourly? And we have it set as $70 as default. So you can see on here, we have a bar that shows, depending on what you type, kind of what's maybe average and what's below average. So like, for example, if I put $20 an hour, don't charge $20 an hour. It's in the red because you need to be charging more than that. But let's go back to say $75 an hour. All right, so 75 an hour is what we're gonna charge for our rate, not counting our gear. So then we have to hire some help. And after taxes and fees, it's gonna be about 30 bucks an hour. So let's put that in there. And then we're gonna have two people at that rate. So two people, 30 bucks an hour. And this is gonna be for a full day. So let's take it up to eight hours. Okay, labor cost is $1,000. Our equipment rate is 600. All right, editing. So don't forget about editing. How long are you gonna be in the editing room? First, what is your rate for editing? So we have 50 as the default, that'll work. And then we have our actual cost of equipment. Keep in mind, computers aren't free. This stuff is not free. You have to invest in this, upgrade this. Software has monthly fees. I mean, Lord knows we have tons of monthly fees, right? So you need to calculate this in there. So we have 7,000 is basically what we think our equipment and software is worth that we are using for this particular edit. And that's fine. And let's say this is gonna take us 16 hours to edit. Okay, so our editing cost is 1360. Oh, don't forget about hard drive space. This is gonna take six terabytes of hard drive space. It's not free, put it in here, right? So once you get done with that, now we have 1540. Now we have miscellaneous fees and expenses. This is kind of a place where you can add a little more if it seems a little low, or you can leave this alone if you feel like you pretty much tapped your budget out. But let's go through our insurance. If we have special insurance we need to pay for, fuel and travel, this one's local, we're not gonna worry about that. Meeting and consultation, you need to put something here. Because we've been talking to these people for, I don't know, three months to make this happen, it's taken our time and our time is valuable. Say we've talked to them for a total of 12 hours, 
but we're only gonna charge them 25 bucks an hour for that. We're gonna back that down. That's more of a kind of free consultation thing, but this is something we need to keep track of for our purposes because it is taking our time. So we get done and then subcontractors and drone work or something like that. This is the video production calculator, so we're not gonna talk about that on this one. And let's see. And we have miscellaneous extras and overhead. So on this one, you can just put in profit, for example. If the number's a little too low and you need to make 10% profit, you can add $350 to this. Um, you can put other overhead here as well, and this is kind of another place to adjust it. We have a total of $3,520. So that's pretty good money, but again, a lot of that money is gonna go to pay your help, it's gonna go to pay for your equipment, and to keep things upgraded and just wear and tear. So. That's not as much money as it sounds. And then once you have that completed, you can just stop there and you're done, or you can email the results to yourself. We're not going to share your information or share whatever rates you came up with. This is totally for your purposes. You can use this as many times as you want. We're finished with this one, but let's go ahead and move on to traditional drones. This will be quick because it's very similar, but there are a few key adjustments. So let's go back to all the calculators. Traditional drones, GPS drones, whatever you want to call them. We'll scroll down. Okay, again, equipment costs always charge as if you are renting. So we're gonna fly the Mavic 3. The Mavic 3 is about a $2,000 drone, so let's put that in there. Payload, so do we have like anything mounted? Is this an enterprise version, stuff like that? So we have a rate for that as well, but in this case, we're just gonna go as it is. Accessories on the ground. This would be like your smart controller, um, any extra monitoring equipment or anything like that. So let's say we're running a smart controller. We'll throw a thousand on there. Okay, so for an eight hour a day to use the Mavic 3 with a smart controller, we have $380. And that actually checks out pretty well with most rental houses, maybe a touch high, but that's okay. Now our labor cost, what are we charging? It's kind of the same thing. These labor rates are gonna be a little different, but we'll just leave it at 65. We're gonna skip any help. When we get done, we have $900 for a full day operating a Mavic 3 drone, which is a pretty reasonable rate. It's just about $1,000 a day. And that's pretty much what I think you should charge if you're not doing any editing, you're just filming for someone. Okay, so let's go to the next thing, which is going to be FPV drones and Cinelifters. And what you're gonna see here is the rates go way up for your daily use because things happen. So for FPV drones, you're gonna to wanna to put whatever the value of the drone is at the beginning. So if it's something like this, it's about $500. If it's the Avada, it's like six or $700 for just the drone. You have the other peripherals down below. If it's something big, like a thick or something else, let's get this out of the way for a moment, make some room then you need to charge a lot more. So this drone is about $2,500 to $3,000. And you gotta remember, if something happens to it, there's a waiting list to get more. So don't be cheap on this. Let's say it's worth 3,000 for the thick. Let's go down to the payload, which is going to be this Blackmagic camera and lens. Let's put 2,000. Accessories of value on the ground. That's gonna be your goggles, your monitors and backup equipment. So you may even include extra drones in this, but for the sake of not getting too crazy on this first quote, we'll just go with our goggles and a monitor. So what we came up with is 1780 and that's just to show up with the gear for a day. And then we need to charge a rate. FPV is more specialized thing, so you need to charge more. So the default on this is 100, but let's take it up to say 150. Seems fair, especially for center lifters. For center whoops, maybe closer to 100 especially now that the Avada's out. You guys are gonna be taking all our jobs. And then let's do this for an eight hour day. One thing I almost missed, don't forget when you're flying FPV, you need a visual observer. You need someone to spot you to legally fly FPV. And if you're doing professional work, you better be doing it legally. So don't forget to add their rate as the extra employee. We're not doing any editing in this. We're just gonna give them the SD card or CFAST card or whatever. Um, travel on this one, let's say, yeah, let's charge them a couple hundred dollars because we had to drive somewhere prettier than Ohio happens. And we came up with $3,100 or 3,180 for a total cost to fly a Centilifter for a full eight hour day. That might seem like a lot of money, but there's a few things to take into account here. The drone's expensive, the camera's expensive. Sure, the camera is insurable, but what if you're flying a naked cam? See, some of these smaller Cinelifters and some of these guys, you have to actually tear apart the camera and that voids the warranty and there's no insurance. 
So if you crash, you're out more money than you made that day. And this stuff gets risky. So make sure you're charging enough for this type of work. I mean, there are pilots out there that charge tens of thousands of dollars a day for this work. But again, you have reputation, experience, and the equipment you show up with. And those are all things you need to take into account. If you see anything on these calculators you think we should adjust, or if you have any ideas or opinions, be sure to comment about that below. Also consider submitting at the bottom anything that you think should be changed. If we make changes to these, we'll make sure to highlight it at the top so that you know if something's different about the calculator from the previous time we used it. Well, hopefully these calculators have been helpful and they are free to use for life for as long as we can afford to keep them up. Please consider giving this video a like if it is and subscribing to our channel. YouTube thinks you'll like this video right here, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.